zoo animal or something? <laughs> Quit. <laughs> H2 Swole. This is going to be a solo show uh, besides Louie here. Uh, to this week we're going to give away the t-shirt, so hang tight. Uh, we're also going to have another contest at the end of this show. Uh, going to be announced, so please either sit through this or fast forward to the end if that's what you prefer to do, but you're going to miss out on some cool stuff. So, But uh, we're going to start with breaking down my week. Um, Let's see, I had rest day, 2750 calories, 193 grams of protein. Chest day, 2480, 180 grams of protein. Back day, 2651 calories, 184 grams of protein. Leg day, 2400 calories, 200 grams of protein. Yes, I did say leg day. My leg day is better. So, well, my leg is better, not my leg day. You know what I mean. Um, Shoulder day, 2120 on calories, 187 grams of protein. Arm day, two, 2,441 calories, 200 grams of protein. Uh, protein levels were awesome this week. Calories were a little over. Uh, I did weigh in at 230, which is still moving the right direction. We started at 237. Uh, the question picked for the contest comes from Sheena from Gray, Kentucky. Uh, I called Sheena earlier this week and asked her her shirt size. She wins the beast tee. Uh, be sure to hang out till the end of the show because there will be another contest that you guys don't want to miss. Uh, congratulations, Sheena. Sheena asks, should women lift weights if they don't want to get bulky looking? And if so, how can they lift weights and not get the bulky masculine look? Um, I got some really good news for you, Sheena. Um, you don't have to be a guy to be a badass. Uh, it's, it's okay for women to lift weights. And I act, actually, it's really good for women to lift weights. Uh, there's this rumor that's been going around for years uh, in the gym that women will get bulky and masculine if they lift weights. So you see women on the on the cardio machines, they'll come into the gym, hit the cardio machines, a lot of them, and just run uh, till the cows come home and then leave the gym. And that's honestly not the best way to go about sculpting your body, which is what a lot of women are interested in, if that's what this question's based off of, which I assume because she asked, you know, how to not get bulky or masculine looking. See, the thing is, you're not going to get bulky or masculine looking because women don't have an abundance of testosterone. Uh, the women that you see on the bodybuilding competitions and stuff, they are on drugs. That's why they look like that. I mean, they're on drugs. They eat 6,000 calories, you know, a meal, <laughs> all this stuff. But, I mean, they are forcing their bodies to look that way. Um, naturally women do not get bulky and masculine it's just not something that that happens uh, what does happen though your body will burn more energy to maintain muscle than it does to maintain fat so like as you build some muscle in your body then your metabolism speeds up so that will help you a lot it strengthens bones which is really important for women uh, and men too but you know strengthening bones for as you grow older um see i mean we were designed to push and pull women and guys alike i mean that's what your body's designed for and to think that women shouldn't lift weights or lift heavy is just you know it's it's just outdated i mean that's not the truth and you see a lot of women nowadays that are that are actually out there you know preaching this you know if you're wanting, you know, the look that, let's see, what's the word? Most girls use toned. Um, 
that's you get that by lifting weights that's where that comes from um, on lifting weights like if you're doing upper body uh, this this again uh, we don't have nobody here to argue with me so you just get my opinion which is kind of cool uh, if you're doing upper body workouts ladies if you can do more than 12 reps in my personal opinion you're working too light like if you're over there doing 25 reps on chest press or shoulder press or curls you you ain't got enough weight on there uh, you shouldn't be able to do any more than 12 if you're doing less than five or six then you're too heavy so you know that's that's the area you want to work in to start building some muscle onto your body uh, and when i say build muscle remember it's a good thing you're not going to get bulky or masculine you're gonna get curves where you want them and your body's gonna burn more fat by building this muscle under there. Um, on lower body, you're not gonna, I would say like, if you can do more than 15 reps, you know, uh, on lower body workouts, then that's too light. Uh, if, you, if you can do, you know, if you do less than four, five, you know, that's too heavy. So that's the area that, that pretty much I would work in if I was a lady. Of course, I'm not a lady, but um, that's the area I also work in as a guy. So it's it's the same way. Um, another thing too, ladies, if you lift, um, it's it's builds confidence. Uh, a lot of girls go in the gym and they go straight to the treadmill like a beeline. You know, they they don't look at nobody. Walk straight to the treadmill, get on it, and run, and then walk out. You know, um, you'd be surprised as you get stronger. The confidence that comes with that uh, you get that walk in the gym like you own it feeling um, and it's 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 a good thing you know but that's my take on it Sheena I hope I helped you in some way I uh, hope I got you over your fear of getting masculine or bulky I promise you that's not gonna happen get in there and lift as heavy as you can lift uh, in fact um, Text me or call me because I know you have my number and we will go lift together one day and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Exercises, reps, sets, you know, everything. But uh, on to the next question. Uh, this isn't actually a question that someone asked me. This is something that gets said to me on like a daily basis. Well, maybe not daily, but like quite often. Uh, People come to me and say things like, um, I wish I had your time. I wish I had your motivation. Uh, biggest one is though, I wish I had time to work out like you do. Okay, first of all, you know, we both have 24 hours. So I'm gonna start with that, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna give you some suggestions on things that could help you get more time and then tell you what I really think of that question or statement, I should say. Uh, you could park in the back of the parking lot and walk instead of trying to find the front space every time. Uh, you could take the stairs anytime stairs are available instead of getting in the elevator. Uh, you can get a workout partner to give you a hard time for skipping, even though you could have went, you didn't because you had this or that. Uh, you can keep a gym bag ready, keep it in your car. Always keep a gym bag packed. That way, you know, it's there just in case you do have that time. Um, you can wake up earlier, you know. You wake up a little earlier, go to bed a little earlier, you know, so you can. Uh, that'll be time that you didn't use before, so go ahead and use that time for working out. Um, I, the I wish I had time statement, honestly, is is the human way of defending itself for something they feel guilty for skipping. Um, I wish I had time to clean my house like that. I uh, wish I had time to go to the gym. You know, I wish I had time to help people. Uh, you know, just those statements. Those, that's a statement that is based off, you know, overcoming the guilt you have by just throwing a random statement out there and helping you feel better. I'm not trying to be mean, but I mean, that's, that's a fact. I mean. Everybody has 24 hours in a day. 
and everybody uses it how they seem deemed fit to use it. I mean, I realize there's some cases where, you know, there's people that work, you know, 15, 16 hours a day, you know. I understand you may not want to go to the gym, but I promise you those guys are probably working out, you know, just in work in general. So, I mean, you know, it's, and it's about getting healthy, guys. I mean, it's not about, you know, looking good, even though that's, you know, part of it. And for a lot of people, that's, that might be the only part of it. But it's about getting healthy, feeling better about yourself, growing, um, you know, just growing stronger mentally, physically, uh, spiritually, you know, just, just always evolving. But one hour a day, if you break it down like this, one hour a day is only 4% of your day you know you should dedicate four percent of your day to yourself for your health I mean that's that's my opinion of it I mean let's see like like you know I'm not going to mention the fact that when I was overseas um, I used to work all day doing services on Humvees and mortar tracks and then we'd go do patrols and in the evening uh, and then get back, you know, probably around two or three or so in the morning, and then I would hit the weights, you know, for like an hour. You know, I'm not going to bring up that fact. Um, I'm not going to bring up the fact that I went to school full time, worked full time, and was raising youngins full time, uh, and always made that time to go to the gym. I'm not going to bring up that fact either. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, guys, you got to make it a priority. You're not going to do it unless it's a priority. Um, making a statement instead of, I wish I had time to go to the gym. How about, you know, I'm not going to the gym because it's not a priority. State it like that and it, it makes your mind click a little differently. You know, when I was overseas, I was trained because somebody that wanted me dead was somewhere training. So, you know, I trained myself also. Uh, when I got home and had school and work and the kids, I, I train because I'm going to die sooner if I don't train and be healthy, you know. That's my motivation. Uh, that's my go-to, you know, in the end, your life should be the, the thing that you're most interested in. But, I mean, you're worth it, guys. I mean, just qu quit saying, I wish I had, and I promise you, your life will get better all the way around. Quit using that term, all together. Anything that you say, I wish I had in front of, is usually something that you know you could have or you should have you know I mean that's that's about it and you only get one body you can't trade your body in like a car I mean this is what you got you know take care of it take care of it that's that's all I'm saying guys for real uh, let's get on to the contest uh, and wrap this up um, here's what we got uh, I'm sure that a lot of you have been saying man where did he get that sweet ass tactical hat that he is always wearing in these videos? And I'm like, you know, thank you. It is a sweet hat, even though you never said that. We are going to give away one of these sweet H2 Swole tactical hats here to someone. Um, it is a nice looking hat. I'm sure that anybody would be proud to wear an H2 Swole tactical hat. Uh, there is a simple way to enter the contest. Actually, there's three ways to enter the contest. And this contest is going to go on for two weeks. That means that you have two weeks to enter this contest and get whoever you can to enter it also. Uh, you can post a comment or a picture on the h 2 Swole Facebook group. Uh, I will put a link in the description below. You can post a comment or a pic below this video in the comment section, or you can post a comment on any article on h2swole.com. So I will put a link to h2swole.com. I will put a link to the h2swole Facebook group down below. If you're not in it, just request to be in it. We will accept you because we love all you guys and gals. So I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I did. I hope my question helped you, Sheena, and I hope that some of you with your lame excuses decide to get off your butt and do something for your health, for your family, for you. Go out there.
Move. <laughs>